Distributed Ledger Technology, or DLT for short, is a method of storing information on multiple computers, making it hard to alter or erase. This ensures that everyone in a network has access to the same data. To better understand this concept, let's break down these two words, ledger and distributed. Starting with ledger. You are probably familiar with the term ledger from this channel. That is a book where things are regularly recorded, especially for business activities like money received or paid. In a traditional setting, ledger are used by businesses, governments, and individuals to track income, expenses, assets, and liabilities. And these ledgers are usually a physical book or an Excel sheet. But in a distributed ledger technology, ledgers are stored in a digital format on a network or computer. It is the same compilation of records, only that this time it is online and only accessible to computers within a given network. Next, the word distributed. The word distributed refers to the centralized nature of ledgers. This means that the ledger is not controlled by any single entity, but rather by a network of computers or nodes spread all around the world. In other words, unlike traditional centralized system like the bank where a single entity has control of ledger, a distributed ledger is decentralized. This makes the ledger more secured and transparent. So how does distributed ledger technology work? A network of computers also known as nodes handles a distributed ledger. These nodes are responsible for storing the ledger, updating the ledger, and verifying transactions. They also use consensus mechanisms to agree on the state of the ledger. Think of consensus mechanism as a way for computers in a network to agree on the truth. It is a consensus mechanism that ensures that information in the ledger is accurate. In addition, each node has a copy of the ledger. In other words, unlike centralized systems where a single point of failure can disrupt the entire system, distributed ledgers are resilient. Even if some nodes go offline or become compromised, the network can still function smoothly. This is because every node in the network has a copy of the ledger. This also makes it extremely difficult for the ledger to be tampered with. If someone tries to change the ledger, the other nodes will notice and reject the change. It is this attribute that makes a distributed ledger immutable. To understand this concept better, let's use a real life analogy. Imagine you and your friends team up to start a big oil and gas company with different offices spread across Nigeria. To keep things smooth, you agree that each office must have a special computer for recording the day-to-day -day transaction. And these computers are all connected to the main office so everyone can see what is happening. Whenever a transaction takes place at an office, it is recorded on the office computer, then sent to all the other offices' computer and also to the main office in real time. Now, the beauty of this setup is that it ensures that every office has a complete and up-to-date record of every transaction that happens at every branch in the company. Here's where it gets interesting. Before a transaction is added to the main office computer, the cashier at each branch checks it carefully to make sure it matches their own record. That is, each branch only approves the transaction to be recorded if it matches with the record at their own office. Once added, it cannot be changed. This process is similar to the consensus mechanism where every participant within the network collectively agrees that the transaction being added to the ledger is indeed accurate. It is also exactly how the distributed ledger works. Every computer linked to the network has a copy of the ledger. So if anyone on the team tries to change the record on their computer, it will be marked as fake by the computer in the network. These changes will not be accepted and will not be added to the main office computer. And since everyone in the office has a copy of the ledger and watches each other closely, it becomes very difficult to tamper with the ledger. Now, the widely recognized form of distributed ledger technology is the blockchain. This is not to say that the blockchain and distributed ledger are exactly the same because they are not. Blockchains are just a part of the bigger distributed ledger world. It's a type of distributed ledger where data is grouped into blocks. The Bitcoin network, for instance, uses blockchain to record all its transactions. 
if you want to learn more about the blockchain you can watch the video i recently made about it in this video here however it is also important to note that not all distributed ledger are blockchain apart from blockchains various other types of distributed ledger such as hyperledger coder and more uses different technologies to achieve the same goal of creating a secure and tamper resistant database guys we have come to the end of this video it is not my usual video but i hope the dlt explanation is well understood and if you want to learn how to trade cryptocurrencies profitably and learn more about cryptocurrency and DeFi, then create a bybit account and join my group all links are in the description i'll see you in that group and in the next video